Welcome back to the Book Bros. I'm Winnie Book Bros. Today we're talking about the MMO RPG Rise of the Primordial Godsmith by True Dawn. For a quick synopsis, Valar, our main character, is reincarnated into the game Greater Beyond. The reason for his reincarnation? Earth gets destroyed. This game has some hand in it, but so he's reincarnated back into the game, and his goal is to find the reason and get powerful enough to be able to save the Earth and save everyone that he loved and everything that he knew on that planet. For my thoughts on this novel, for my first thoughts on this novel, this novel is fantastic. If you really like reincarnated VR MMO type novels, and especially when he gets reincarnated back into the game, his knowledge and the way that it gives him himself a mystery to see who being he and reincarnated it as, as the game refuses to tell him and he has to figure it out himself. It's really fun watching him go through the steps that like a pro game move would, but as an actual character within the game, it's really cool to uh, see where it goes and just the world developing and his character growth. For the plot of this novel, the first 100 chapters, it goes very much into him leveling up, him trying to get the classes that he wants to get and the strength that he has to show and get to the point where he is. So the first 100 chapters is just growing, which is really fun to see. Uh, the world building and the monsters that he fights and the way that the uh, NPCs are like actual people, obviously. And the way that he interacts even with the players that end up coming in as he becomes an NPC is really fun to see. The dynamic uh, of the first 100 chapters is really fun to watch and just to see everything grow. Uh, within those first 100 chapters are really nice For plot, I definitely give it like a 4.5 out of 5 For the subplots, subplots are very short within the first 100 chapters Because mostly he's growing within those first 100 chapters or just getting his name out or just getting everything that he needs to grow stronger They're mostly around like uh, there might be a monster wave or uh, he has to finish this quest to get his uh, subclass or finish his quest to upgrade his main class just those small little sub subplots that you know go into the overall main plot that is happening for subplots definitely giving a solid four out of five for character development he does get some character development as he does come into this world as an npc and takes over someone else's body per se that he doesn't know it's fun to see him grow in the relationships that he gets with other NPCs in this world and how he sees how this world completely differently. It's really fun to see him grow stronger, more confident in himself and his abilities of being able to possibly save the Earth. For character development, that's probably the weaker of them as he doesn't have crazy amounts of character development. But he does have some, and it's you know, going into, in my opinion, a good direction. So uh, I would definitely give it a, a solid 4 out of 5. For foreshadowing, foreshadowing is mostly told within the quests that he get, and the small snippets of his overall like main plot that's happening. As most of them is told through quests, so you're going to see or understand, it's like, oh, he's probably going to go do this, or has to go do this. To finish this quest, he gets some world quests just from Reddit, like right at the start. So those are mostly the foreshadowing are mostly told through the quest that he gets as you'll see him go and do those things for those quests. For foreshadowing, definitely a five out of five. The getting quests is very easy and very understanding of where this novel is going to take the main character. For writing, this is really good writing. There isn't any grammatical errors the translation is fantastic. It's really easy read to read this novel. I read it very quickly. I'm just waiting for chapters essentially now. So I'm just in that waiting game nowadays. So it's really fun to see and definitely a very good, good writing and reading experience. For writing and translation, solid five out of five. I didn't find any grammatical errors, no writing errors. So it's really good to see and it's, it's nice to read. A good solid five out of five. For my final thought, I 100% recommend this novel if you like the more like the MMORPG type novels. Like the like the Legendary Mechanic is another one that's very similar to this novel. Well, not very similar. Legendary Mechanic is sci-fi. This one's fantasy. It's one of those types of things where he's back into the novel, back into the game, 
and he becomes an NPC and trying to just this time save the planet that he was on Earth before he got reincarnated into this novel. It went fantastic. A very, very good MMORPG reincarnation novel. I give this whole novel probably a solid like four out of five, five out of five. Definitely a five out of five. Thanks for sticking around. I got more recommendations uh, talking about different novels on this site. My buddy has some fan fiction stuff on this site. If you want to check that out, uh, just thanks for hanging around and uh, hit that like and subscribe button down below if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thank you.